Hi, I'm Paul. It's quarter past four pm on Sunday, the 18th of December 2022, and this video is part two of the convection candle heater. So, as you can see, I've done some modifications and I fitted it to the wall for that's one thing. Are you stop it? Hey, stop it! Pain. So the fan was on this side, now it's on that side with that tube fastened straight to the stove and I've also put an extra two tubes on the flow because I'm going to make a flow Oh it's messing, I've got a tile missing there because she's weed on the floor <laughs> Yes So I'll just show the temperature now Right, so it's 15.2 degrees and 58% moisture. So I've not been able to get it warmer than 16 degrees, 16.3. I think that was the highest I've got it from Friday. And it's Sunday now, and I'll show you why. These jar candles aren't very good. They don't produce enough heat and it gets warm, but you can put your hand on it. When you have the Maxi Tea Light candles in it, you couldn't put your hand on that. It made it that hot. And I think it works better with tea light candles in it. So I've ordered some off Amazon and they come in today. Um, I don't know what time. It says up till 10 p.m. So that's a bit of a nightmare. But also, I've ordered some candle wick and I'm going to make some DIY candles. I'm going to get jam jars with metal lids on and put my wick in it and use cooking oil and see how effective they are. So, that's what this video is. Candle heaters and, yeah, try to stay warm. And my tie ties in out. It's too cold for him. Are you? Where have you got that sock from? What have you got? Hey! Right, so we have an empty heater. If you can see that black carbon there, that was off this candle from Wilcox that I got bargain price for two quid. But yeah, it burns a black sooty flame. So yeah, got to watch that with carbon monoxide. Don't want to poison me with dog and my tie ties. So why the heater's empty? The wick has come off Amazon. And so the price is 50 tea lights. Four hour burns, so I can put six in each time and should be able to run it for four hours off six and do that eight times if my calculations are right. So, this is a DIY wick that I got, come with little scissors. That was only about four pound, and I'm on Amazon Prime, so I ordered it yesterday and it's come today. So, let's make some DIY candles, eh? <laughs> So, I've got a jam jar and Flo comes and scratches next to the camera. Go away you. So, metal lid and you get a screwdriver. People pierce on this side, but I think it's actually better piercing this side. So you can put, push the wick through then. Let me get you shot. Watch out, you. Yeah, I might need to. Ah, there we go, buzzing. Right. So I don't know whether that's out too much. Only needs to be three mil, apparently. Right, so let's get some cooking oil. Right, so that's really cheap cooking oil from the corner shop. And I put my wick in it. So, if you can see, I've not really used that much of a wick, have I? That's how much I've got left um, for £4, that's well worth it. The cooking oil I think was £2.50, something like that, or £2, I'm not that sure. But I'm not testing it in the convection candle heater at the minute. I'm just going to let the wick prime and get full of oil. And then I'm going to just burn it on the side and see how well it burns and if it gives a smoke or a smell. Uh, so I'll do a few tests first. Okay, catch up in a bit. So quite a big flame. Producing some heat, that. So I check it's all safe. Five minutes later, still doing okay. 
just been to the shop, bought two jars of jam, a few more tins of rice pudding. So I've got four DIY candles in the heater now. So it's 7.19, nearly 20 past 7 and it's 14.8. So we'll see what it's like. <coughs> 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 the fan's on at the minute, it's quite warm that air coming out of it. I don't want the flames too big so they're touching my tube. I just want them beneath it, if you can see here. So with the cost of living and fuel prices, let's just turn this fan off a minute. I've just created a free heat source for my flat so it needs modifications but as you can see the flames aren't touching there there was a bit there's a bit of soot but I'll have the windows open and I won't be leaving it burning all night I'll turn it off an hour before I go to bed but yeah free heat source so what I can do is raise the wicks so the flame is actually touching here and seal all this off. Get heat proof glass, seal it all off and then build the flue and then any fumes, any carbon build up or anything will go outside through the flue, what I'm thinking of putting up there. So, free heat source and DIY candles. Now I'll do a rundown of how much all this costs to make with DIY candles but it's not there and yeah they should last for ages. Right okay I'm going to shut this and let it heat out and turn the fan back on in about 10 minutes when it's heated the tube up. Right I'll catch up in a bit I'm hoping that it'll go to about 17 in here okay. <music> Right, it's now 10.46 on Monday the 19th of December 2022, so it's the next day, and last night it reached 16.8 in here, and then I put the candles out and went bed early because I'm full of a cold, I feel horrible, still feel horrible today, but yeah, I didn't get up till about 20 past 9, so in about an hour and 20 minutes, it's gone from 14.6 I think it was, up to 17.3. Now it's dropped a couple of times when I've had the door open, going for a brew. As you can hear, the fan's on, and yeah, it produces some heat, um, so it's half decent now with these DIY candles in. So, this is the end of the video. You've been watching me, Paul, make some modifications to the convection candle heater. So there is going to be some more updates on this convection heater. And I am going to fit a flu on it. And that's probably the next thing that I'm going to do. I've got a few projects lined up for over winter. And one of them is sort my 100 watt solar panels out on my balcony. So if you're new to this content and my channel, it's normally e-bikes, dogs, and now it's keeping warm over winter. With the fuel crisis and the cost of living, need to keep warm. So I haven't put any gas in now for a month. Um, so I've stayed warm off candles for a month. Um, not done too bad, not been really cold, except the other day when I felt ill with the this flu that I've got or cold that I've got, I felt freezing over weekend. And until I made the DIY candles right okay this is the end of the video thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video okay cheers